What's up guys, I'm Kavi Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Thanks for joining me today in this video. I've been a loyal customer of Nando's and always want to create a homemade version of the Nando's chicken recipe. And finally, I've done it. Now most likely you may already know that Nando chicken is chicken with peri-peri sauce. A chili sauce made with a frequent bird's eye chili, vinegar, lemon juice, and some spices. Let me show you how to make it in this video. Let's get into the details. I'll start by cutting the onions into small chunks. Deseed the bell pepper and cut it into large pieces. Place them in a baking tray and place them at the top rack of the oven to broil until they are partially charred. Then remove and let it cool. Bash and rough chop a few cloves of garlic. The primary ingredients for peri peri sauce is chili. The original recipe of peri peri sauce are made with a fragrant bird's eyes chili. However, since this type of chili is unavailable where I live, that is in Malaysia, I choose to use the local bird's eye chili, which are pretty similar. Besides that, I also use the local large red chili, which are less spicy than the bird's eye chili. The combination is necessary because these chili have different flavor and level of heat. You may want to remove as many seeds as possible if you can't take the heat rather than reducing the amount of chilies. The more chili you use, the more flavor you will get. As for the lemon, you need the lemon juice for the acidity and the lemon zest for the flavor. It is easier to zest the lemon before cutting it into half. The yellow part of the peel holds the essential oil filled with lemon flavor, which you need. On the other hand, the lemon juice has an acidic, tart taste which is different from the zest. Now let's put all the ingredients into the blender. Charred onion and bell pepper, chilies, garlic, some wine vinegar, lemon juice, oregano, some rosemary, paprika, season with some salt, sugar, and lastly black pepper. Blend for 2 minutes or until it turns into a smooth paste. Then transfer the chili paste to a small pot. Add the bay leaves. Bring it to a boil and simmer over low heat for 10 minutes to break down the ingredients. You need to keep stirring from time to time to prevent it from sticking to the pot. Discard the bay leaves. Then transfer the cooked sauce back to the blender. Add the remaining lemon juice, lemon zest, and olive oil. Blend for half a minute and the patty peri sauce is done. Now let's do a comparison. The taste is almost identical to the original Nando sauce that I ordered as takeout. There are slight different though. The Nando's version has more vinegar taste and my homemade version has more lemon flavor. Another plus point of the homemade sauce is that it is free from chili seeds. Whereas the store-bought version has quite a fair bit of chili seed. 
Next, brine the chicken. I use chicken hind quarters, that is the whole chicken leg, but the process is the same if you brine the entire chicken. Add 4 tablespoons of salt, 4 tablespoons of sugar, and 2 teaspoons of crushed black pepper to a large container. Pour 1 cup of hot water into the container. Stir to dissolve the sugar and salt. Add half a cup of tap water and some ice cubes to cool down the water. Place the chicken into the water, then mix well. Place some heavy stuff. In this case, I use a lid of my pan on the chicken so that they always submerge in the brine. Transfer it to the refrigerator and let it sit for at least half a day or overnight. On the next day, after removing the chicken from the brine, pan dry the chicken. Place the chicken in a large container. Rub the chicken with sufficient amount of peri-peri sauce. You can add a little more than required as you will use the extra to apply onto the surface before roasting it in the oven. Keep it in the refrigerator to marinate it for at least half a day or overnight. The final step is to grill the chicken. However, Setting up an outdoor grill is impossible since I live in a high-rise apartment. Therefore, I have to settle with a grill pan on a stove top. Here are the steps. Heat some oil in the grill pan over medium heat. When the pan is hot, grill the chicken skin side down until it forms the char mark. Then turn to the other side and continue grilling. The grill pan behaves differently from the open fire grill, as the side of the chicken will not be browned effectively. To overcome this problem, lift the chicken with tongs to char all sides of the chicken. Move the chicken from time to time to ensure it is grilled evenly. Transfer the chicken to the oven rack. Brush the extra marinade abundantly on both sides of the chicken. Place the chicken in the oven and roast it at 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. The chicken is cooked when the internal temperature reaches 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove and serve. That's how to prepare peri peri chicken nando style at home. I've included the recipe in the description below the video for your convenience. If you like this video, please subscribe, tap the notification bell, and give me a like. Finally, don't forget to share it with your friends and family on social media. That's all for now. I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.